When life gives you lemons, you put them on a racetrack. Hello, everybody, and welcome to a new episode here on the channel. Last night, I was on Steam looking through some R-Factor 2 mods, and I found a lemon car mod. And I was like, we absolutely have to give this a shot. We are going to be racing lemons here today uh, at Daytona, as well as a couple other tracks. we got to go road racing with these things, maybe at Monaco or something. Uh, we can choose between a lemon and a lime. I'm going to go with a lemon. Uh, I like lemons more, personally, so that's what we're going to be racing here today. This vehicle has a lemon juice engine and is manufactured by the Earth. Very excited to see what we can do here. I've tested this out just a little bit to get an idea of how it drives. Uh, pretty much letting off the throttle is your worst enemy. So it's going to be interesting to see how this works out at Daytona. That might be okay, but we're going to give it a shot and see what we can do here in a field of 40 lemons on a racetrack. Here we are, our beautiful lemon mobile here on the track in Daytona. So uh, it looks exactly what I would expect here in the interior, to be honest. I mean, the gauge looks great there, the speedometer. Um, we're going to change our view, though. This is the roof cam that we're going to be using now. Here's what it looks like if you go behind the car. <laughs> Look at this. Oh my goodness. I think this is the best mod I have seen in a long time here. Um, all I'm going to do here in practice is show you guys what happens when I let off the gas at a really high speed. So only one gear in this car. We're going to get back into the camera that I'm going to be using throughout the race. But we're going to get on the back straightaway and you're going to see exactly what I'm talking about with when I let off the gas. All right, on the back straightaway, we're going only 122 miles per hour, but if I just let off the gas, whoop, that's what happens. So we got to be very careful of that everywhere we drive this car. So I think we've got enough practice. We're just going to go into the race. On the grid, five laps here from Daytona, and it is lights out, and we are underway, and these lemons are very, very slow. We have no double yellow line rule here. When there's lemons on the track. So I'm not sure exactly what the strategy is here. I mean, the goal for me is to not let off the throttle whatsoever. But look at the run we got. We have a great start here. Massive stack up. I'm just going to keep on going up the inside. And just like that, up into P11. Oh, we're side by side. We're going to take it three wide with two other lemons. Actually, I've got some limes in the mix as well, and I can't quite pull it off right there. These two limes right here not wanting me to get by, so the draft, even in lemons, uh, drafting is very important. We're going to take it three wide again. Do we have enough momentum? We clear them both. I think we got a fast car. Trying to make a move to the right-hand side of this lime. Do we have enough? Give them a little side draft. Side drafting might work when it comes to lime, or lime and lemon racing. Trying to get the draft from the guy up there in like seventh. And sure enough, it's working. Look at the momentum. Clear in Daytona as we try to pull off the Lemon Tona 500 victory. Looking to the inside for P6. This is going to be the calmest race of the episode, I guarantee, because we're just going left in the AI on ovals. Doesn't matter what you put on the track, lemons. Uh, is they're very calm. They don't do much. So we're gonna have to run down that guy away up in front of us though here as we're gonna look to the inside. These two guys are tandem drafting right here. What if I try tandem drafting? I wonder. I'm gonna give it a shot. Let off the throttle a little bit. Get to the back of this guy. All right, let's go, fellow lemon. We gotta keep on tandem drafting. Just keep on pushing. Oh, 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 oh no. That did not work. Oh, we got to... Oh, I'm getting dizzy. I'm just going to hold the brake. Hold the brake. I see other wheels of other lemons. Oh, my God. What is going on? All right, let's try and get this thing turned around. Ugh. I'm getting hit again. Engine's working. Can confirm that, at least. But, uh... I don't know how we're going to put this thing back on its wheels. Oh, there we go. That'll do it. I got to hold the keyboard, actually, to put this thing in reverse. And, oh, we have we have the big one here. And the Lemon Tona 500. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. Two laps to go here. And the Lemon Tona 500. We're actually gaining a lot of ground out of nowhere. I don't know if these guys are just that slow, but inside of that lime... 
back up into B18. And look at us go. We're going to make a pass to the outside. And now we're up to 17th place. And Oh, it's oh, it's raining. It is raining here in Daytona. I don't know. Oh, it's t the track's got about 20% water, I guess. Or no, that's the weather. The track actually uh, 0 to 1% wet. So I think we're going to be okay to go a lap and a half. We'll have to wait and see. Turns three, final lap. We have the draft from 13th place. The track is getting wet. The car is a little shaky. Do we have enough of a pull out of four to try and get 13th? I don't think we do. It's going to be close. We have a run. We have a really big run. Come on. We got time. We're only going, what, 130 mile an hour. Coming to the line. We'll look to the inside. And we're going to get him. P13 here. And the Lemon Tona. 500 and then we just go woo off the throttle and you see what happens there so you saw that crash and that brings us now to monaco not sure what to expect here i don't even know which way my wheel is turning it's turning to the left um yeah 19 i think it's 66 monaco here and the thing is the problem is we have to slow down at this track which means when i let off the throttle i'm gonna have to be unbelievably careful I uh, might have to give up some time here and there just to make sure we don't go crashing. So, oh, it already tried to snap out some contact with the lemon. Around we go with the, another lemon. And we're still going in the right direction. All right. Trying this again. Here in classic Monaco. A lot of room over here on the right side. It allows me to just kind of take advantage here as I'm just going to keep on going and already up towards the top 10 and here comes the hard part of turning the lemon there's a lemon in the guardrail behind us looks like they kept it going in the right direction but look at us up to p8 that draft always important here in monaco oh boy trying to crash please do not crash to the back of the lime just kind of staying in line behind the lime Nice little rhyme there. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was my bad. Oh, oh are they going to pile up in the hairpin? I don't think so. I'm going to send it up the inside, turn my lemon into the wall, and now we're just going to go backwards. As I think I've started to get the hang of lemon racing finally here. Take everything that I just said completely away here in Monaco. Look at us go. There's some cars up there. Lemons coming together. We made a pass. I never thought I was going to make a pass. Close to the wall. And we are coming through the field late in this race. We're already uh, coming up to two laps to go in the uh, Monaco GP of Lemons. If, the, if they had the Le Mans track in here, that would be perfect. Be the, the Le Mans 24 hour. Oh, I am here, Mr. Lemon. We probably should not go into here side by side. So I'm going to give you some room. And we both get through there smoothly. No problems at all. Let off a little bit here. Don't let this guy make the pass. He hit me anyways. Oh, that was dirty. Here we go. Here we go. Send it. Oh no! Oh boy! We're going in the right direction. And we can still get a top 15. We're gonna have to throw a block. Throw a block! Oh, I got hit! Oh, that didn't work. Oh, blocking is not my strong suit. I see a top 15 still available. That right there was just to add on to the parkour. Out of the final turn. I see 15th, but I can't get there, I don't think. I don't know where the line is. Oh, we might get him. I don't know if we got him. Oh, we got 16th. So close. We almost got top 15 somehow after that. You might remember, I've gone to the Macau GP on R Factor 2 with uh, the NASCAR bot. Well, this time, we're going to see what we can do with these lemons in Macau. Uh, if you guys remember the NASCAR video I did, we had a 30-40 car pile up at one point, so 
I'm interested to see how this is going to turn out as from the P29, oh, there's no way. I got, you got to be kidding me. Oh my goodness. That's probably honestly a good thing because now we're away from that pack before we get down to turns one. Oh, look at that. That was better than, oh, oh boy. There is a pile up of lemons. I see a hole. That hole is now gone. Having an absolute blast here in the Lemonade 400 in Macau. We can't go anywhere. We're stuck. And the only thing we can do is hope that a hole opens up or this guy in front of us gets going. Only one thing to do. Thank you, sir. Don't mind me. I will see you guys later. Here we go. This is where the crash was last time. Oh, there's a couple of them still going at it. But I mean, that's about 95% better than what it was, so... Moving on from that disaster, we were not going anywhere. Nothing else happened, so you didn't miss anything. For the send-off, we're at, like, the smallest oval track I've ever seen in a video game. It's actually at a karting track. And we're doing 10 laps here. And, well, you can already see this turn one. I mean, we, we go around this track. If we were by ourselves, we'd do, like, 10-second laps, maybe, if that. But uh, we've got to be careful here. These, these lemons, they're hard to drive. They take a lot of patience. And when you have about 20 other lemons already, oh, there's only, like, 8 laps to go already, or 9 laps to go, so. Out of my way. Oh, my God. What happened over there? I think the leaders just crashed each other. I'm hooked on a lemon. He's like legitimately hooked. We can't, we can't get off each other. <laughs> what in the world was that? And there, there's, I think all of the front running lemons are out and the limes. I'm just muscling my way through here. They, they are all going off the course. I'm just gonna come through, put a little bit. Oh, not again, I'm hooked, I'm hooked, I'm hooked. I'm on the brake, I'm holding the brake. What is going on? This guy over here needs a penalty. He is cutting everything. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What is going on right now? We're up to eight. Gonna go for seventh right here. I'm gonna sail it off in there. And we're gonna go wide just like they're doing. I can see now how they go wide all the time. Oh my goodness. Oh, 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 oh mind if I do. We're leading. And I am gone. I will see you guys a little later. Oh god. Oh god. They're still going at it. Oh, it's bumpy. Oh, no. I just hit. I just. I'm in the wall. Go, car. Ugh. Okay, we did not lose the lead. We're okay. With four laps to go. We're in position to win. The, this is the lemons. The Le Mans 400 right here. Look at all the lemons over there. They've all gone off the track. I'm like the only car left on the track. Oh no, another one just about went down. I think I'm the only one. There's one lemon joining me. We're on the last lap already. I think I've put like everybody like three laps down, two laps down. And we're gonna come through to win the Le Mans 400. Let's do a burnout somehow. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Absolutely glorious. All right, there you have it. Uh, lemons as a race car does not work out well, I don't think, anywhere. Um, if you guys enjoyed, you know what to do. I'd like to thank you all, of course, for taking the time of your day to watch this episode on the channel and any other ones you watch. So I will see you guys, though, in the next one. Have a great day, everybody.